All right, hey, it's Matt Blank Guys Garage. So today, I want to give you a project car update on one of the cars that everybody's kind of seen in the background, and I don't think I've worked on it at all for videos on the channel, um, mainly because it doesn't need anything. Uh, so here it is. It's a 95 Pontiac Trans Am. No, it's not perfect, but it's it's a really, really nice car. I mean, it really is. So, car has 77,000 original miles on it. I think it's like 77,100 or something like that. Um, I have to, I'll lean in and look in a second. It has no, no big dent, no big dents or anything. It's got a couple scratches and scuffs. It is the original paint on it. So that's to be expected. Um, you know, and like I said, just in general, it's a pretty nice car. Yes. I will tell you ahead of time, the doors squeak when you open them. They need to be greased. It's kind of set for the last couple months right here. So, so yeah, it's a little squeak, but I mean, the car's pretty nice inside and out. Seats are in decent shape. Rear seat's in good shape. And yeah, some trash in the floor. Needs to be vacuumed out and cleaned out. I just hadn't done it yet. Mainly because once again, it's cold out and I don't do hardly anything outside when it's cold, if I can help it. Um, but it just kind of, it's a real nice car. The story on it kind of goes, uh, uh, when I got it, the motor was broke. You'd think that's kind of impossible for 70,000 miles, but it is what it is. Uh, they broke the crankshaft in half, so we pulled it apart, rebuilt it, and uh, yep, see, door squeaks on the side. These little W40. Uh, we pulled it apart, rebuilt it. Here's the inside on this side. Put an aftermarket wheel on it. I do have the factory wheel. Um, aftermarket radio, of course. Let's see. Well, so. It's a, it's a fun car. It's got a lot of power. Uh, that's where we're going to get to. It's just got a uh, full Forge 383 in it. Um, every, everything in it is ARP. ARP head bolts, rod bolts, main bolts. You name it, it's been ARP'd. Um, it's got AFR heads on it. I think they were the 210 series. They were the 205s or 210s. I think they're the 210s. I've got a whole binder of paperwork on it. Um, they were They were ported and polished along with the intake was sent and ported and polished and port matched to the AFRs uh, through Lloyd Elliott. Um, the cam in it is a custom grind cam. It's 620 lift, 250 duration at 50, something in that range. Once again, I have to go look at the exact paperwork to see it exactly what it is. Um, and then the trans was stock up until that point and it broke for absolutely no reason whatsoever. We don't really hot rod the car, we drive it. When I say we, I mean my wife drives it more than anybody does. Uh, I'm legally blind, as you can tell, it's Blind Guy's Garage. Um, so I don't drive on the street, but it just broke one day um, and I sent it off and had it built properly. It was a $3,000 build on the transmission alone. Um, and then I bought a Yank 3600 SS converter because I just had a cheap summit 3600 converter or something in it before um and that was another grand so i mean there's four grand in the trans by itself uh, as far as the rear it's got adjustable lower and lower control arms panhard bar um it still has the factory uh um i can't think what that thing's called um I don't remember what the thing's called. It goes from the diff to the uh, transmission cross member right there. Um, I'll think of it in a second. But yeah, that's still factor. I, I hadn't changed it yet. Didn't have a need to. We never really raced it, but I, I replaced all the bushings and every, everything. And that was one of them parts that just wasn't on the list uh, at the time. I probably have it somewhere because it's been a couple years since I built the car. But it's got a 255 well barrel pump in the tank. And then as far as the engine, like I said, it's AFR heads, factory intake. It's been ported and polished to match the AFR heads. Um, all forged bottom end, 12 five to one compression, custom grind cam. It's a 620 lift, 250 duration at 50. Uh, I believe it's on a 110. Uh, power brakes work okay. AC still works, heat works. Everything works like it should. You jump in it, you can drive it wherever you want to. Now, having said that, let's see. Should crank right up now. It's been sitting for about two weeks, so in the cold weather, so we'll see.
I apologize, it's dirty. So the car's warmed up a little bit, quite a bit actually. Um, yes, I took the liberty of grabbing some W40 and leaving those. It helps sheet ton. Uh, so let's see here. There she is, fires right up, just like she should.